Josh Brolin's future is hanging in the air at Marvel Studios. However, his four-movie deal should be a big enough hint that he will be back in the role of Cable. Now that his other heavily CGI portrayal of Thanos is over. Or not. On the other hand, there might still be a way of a Cable and Kang connection, sitting perfectly on Cable's wrist, a tech stolen from the tyrant from a future timeline that could be used in the battle against him on Earth-616. With the confirmation of Deadpool 3 being part of the MCU, many fans ask the same question. Will Josh Brolin reprise his role as Nathan Summers, aka Cable in the upcoming sequel? Not only because of his fate at the end of Deadpool 2 was pretty unclear, but also because the MCU would have two characters portrayed by the same actor. As you could recall, Josh Brolin also betrayed the role of Thanos in the Infinity Saga. Yes, we know that Thanos is dead, but some theories suggest that he could be resurrected from the dead for one sole reason, to help our heroes in the fight against Kang the Conqueror. Now, we know that Thanos joining the Avengers team seems very unlikely, considering their past, but this storyline has already happened in the comics, which means that Marvel could possibly adapt that storyline in the live-action MCU, seeing how famous the Thanos character has been so far. So there is that. While Josh Brolin may have distinguished himself by playing the Mad Titan in the MCU, he is still unsure whether he will return for his role of Cable, who is yet to be confirmed for the upcoming Deadpool 3 movie as part of the cast. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right... Roland, as we said previously, appeared as Cable in 2018's version of Deadpool 2 movie that was made by Fox at the time. Tagging along with Ryan Reynolds, Wade Wilson, over the course of the movie, he had one mission and he was willing to do anything to complete it. Kill the younger version of the man who murdered his family, a time-traveling cybernetic soldier. However, Cable found himself won over in some weird, twisted, noble, albite, chaotic way from the side of Deadpool himself, with him eventually saving Deadpool's life. With one side effect, he was never able to return to the future where he came from, meaning that right now as we speak, Josh Brolin's Cable is indeed stuck in our timeline, Deadpool's timeline after his jump to the MCU, releasing prior to Disney's acquisition of Fox's property over the X-Men and many things that are connected to the franchise, including the two Deadpool movies. Josh Brolin, when he was asked to join the cast of Deadpool, he signed a four-movie deal with the studio back then, which leaves him with three more movies for him to reprise his role as Cable in future X-Men and Deadpool movies. Or at least that was the deal back then. However, with Disney taking control over the property surely came with a lot of changes, which made things unclear if we were even getting another Deadpool movie. But here we are, on the waiting list for yet another Deadpool sequel, which will be a continuation of the story for the Merc with the Mouth. But this time around within the MCU, everything put in place, except Brolin's involvement, pretty much is up in the air. Around three years have passed since the Disney slash Fox deal happened, and we are still in the unknown whether Marvel will opt in to incorporate elements of the X-Men franchise into the MCU, or will they choose to start fresh entirely? Speaking to Cinema Blend, Brolin was asked about his return to the MCU in the role of Cable for a potential Deadpool sequel. He replied by explaining that there were four Deadpool movies planned, but he is not certain as to which direction the franchise will take moving forward. Over the course of the interview, he also reflected positively upon his time working alongside Reynolds, and we quote, Deadpool worked out very much in my favor. Deadpool was supposed to be four movies, and maybe there will be more. I don't know what Marvel has in store, but it turned out to be one really fun movie for me. Considering his career of serious roles he's played so far, we are not at all surprised that Brolin is very keen to return for a role and not miss the opportunity to play a more light-hearted role, even if the opportunity calls for the door and serious Cable. I ain't letting Cable kill this kid, but I can't do this alone. So now that Deadpool has officially been confirmed of making the jump to the MCU and knowing how significant Cable's character is to Wade's story, we think that Cable's return would be imminent. That being said, however, knowing how little we know about Deadpool and his future endeavors, 
there is also the option that the story could go around Cable and eventually save him for future plans Marvel might have for the character. One of the main issues that is out of Brolin's concern is whether Marvel is ready to bring the actor for a role after his previous character died in the form of Thanos, the Mad Titan a significant role in the MCU. Marvel president Kevin Feige has previously said that there was a lot of apprehension about Gemma Chan's return to the MCU to play Cersei in the Eternals movie, having already appeared as Mena Erva in Captain Marvel. Thus, considering Gemma Chan's return a second time around, it should be a clear indication that Josh Brolin's return is more than certain. However, there is one slight difference between the characters two of the actors portrayed. In Gemma Chan's case with her Mena Erva character, was that her character was enough of a side character that it did not matter that much, which is not the case with Brolin, as he was portraying the role of a full-blown villain that brought the entire world to its knees, and the Avengers needed all the help they could get to bring him down. And he did not die without a sacrifice from one of the most prominent members of the MCU, the one who started it all, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, and Natasha Romanoff, who made the ultimate sacrifice as the last piece of the puzzle. Marvel Studios did themselves a huge favor, as we think they would have lost a highly talented actress in the process if they had let Gemma Chan go. Likewise, Josh Brolin did an excellent turn as Cable in the second Deadpool movie, so it would be a shame to recast the character if it were to appear in a potential sequel. On the other hand, there is one advantage in the entire situation. Thanos was an entirely CGI character so Brolin would likely be able to appear in person without too much issue. So with everything said and done, we know that Deadpool 3 is confirmed to be in development at Marvel with a completely new set of writers. It remains to be seen what exactly the film will entail, but hopefully Brolin will have the opportunity to reprise his role and finish what he has already begun. And last but not least, we want to reflect upon one theory that will keep you interested not only because of the premise, but also because of just how everything would fit in place. Now that Brolin's Thanos part is over, being the time traveler Cable is the reports of him joining the fight with Jonathan Majors Kang in the MCU. And that could very well be true, with Cable coming from a future ruled by Kang, and him making the journey with some Kang tech in his hands that would eventually help our heroes in the fight against the tyrant. Plus, Cable's wrist-mounted time travel device was never explored so it could be explained that the device he has in his possession could in fact be a tyrant tech and something that would tie him into the Kang storyline moving forward. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the Cable character, where he fits in within the MCU, and just how different the story of Deadpool would be moving forward if he is not part of it? And what about the Kang connection we mentioned before? Do you think the theory could be the real deal? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.